everybody. So for those of you who do not know what the mannerisms of a cat in heat are, this uh, this is it. So Shira, once every 60 days or so, gets horny, and you see this this fidgety fidgety leg movement. Now, when the cat does this and is presenting as such, this is presenting, okay, I'm sticking the butt in the air and stuff. You will notice that, okay, here's the, here's the butthole and the pussy, right? And there is a dimple next to the butthole above. So you can feel one on this side, right? And on this side of the butthole. And what you do, is you take your finger, make sure that your nail is trimmed so you don't hurt her. And you stick your finger in this dimple and then this happens. Wait, wait. And this noise happens. It's okay, it's okay. And I kind of, I kind of vibrate a little bit. She seems to like that. And so you just keep on doing it until she runs off. Until she's had enough. You don't push too hard and make sure you don't accidentally stick your thumb in the cat's butthole because that would be that would be disastrous for both you and the cat. I'm getting dangerously close as you can see but I'm a pro and I've been doing this a little bit for a little while now. You okay? Okay and now she's had enough and she just rolls around like this. This is what happens. Okay so you don't have to scoop the uterus out of your cat. A lot of people, a lot of people get really upset with me because they're like, you have to, you have to fucking spay your cat and rip out her uterus. But I don't think that's fair. If I was a cat and it was up to me, I don't know. I don't think I'd like it very much. If I had to choose between getting testicular cancer or having my balls cut off by the time I was able to ejaculate, I'd probably choose a life, a shorter life of fuckery and having a good time than that. Yeah, you see, it's okay. It's okay. Who's a happy little slutty cat? That's right. Okay. Yes. All right, so that's how you take care of a cat in heat. Rock on.